that, that there's a lot of poverty here. Uh, I'm seeing there's some homeless encampments, uh, different places here. Uh, not letting on talk about the police brutality, but also I uh, just witnessed some folk living behind the uh, city hall here. I mean, to have an African American mayor, uh, obviously, uh, Mr. Davis, um, just, I mean, being black, and he's black. You would think that, that, that we would have some type of connection or at least some type of understanding, not that race should really mean anything, but then again, it, it does. But I mean, what, what is your feel for the mayor? I mean, do you feel that he, uh, has he shown that, because I, I heard you say tonight that you have reached out to him and he has not reached back to you in regards to your concerns about your son. But, I mean, how, how does that make you feel? I mean, as a taxpayer, as someone, a, a law by a citizen, that you're trying to do the right thing and you, you're trying to be proactive, you're reaching out, you know, not taking things in your own hands. And then it's like, they don't care. I mean, how do you, how does that make you feel? Well, it, it's disturbing and um, I have, asked questions. Some of them have been answered, some of them have not. But it is my understanding that Mayor Osby Davis does not run the city. The city uh -huh. is governed and run by the city manager. Uh -huh. The purpose of the mayor is to be a tiebreaker with regard to the city council. He controls the city council, and his purpose is to break the tie on any uh, issues that are on the given agendas. So he is not the heavy here. I see. So basically, and, and this is what I was trying to explain to the community, and I believe you hitting the nail right on the head. We're talking about politics. We're talking about that the mayor is just a figurehead being black up there, you know, running the meetings, opening the meetings, leading the Pledge of Allegiance. But at the end of the day, he's not really the person who uh, uh, is running the city. And, and I believe it's the city manager who I believe his name is Keats or Keen, I'm not Keen sure. or Keats or something. And then, too, I think what enables or what made the people vote for him the mayor, Davis, is because he's also, he also doubles as an attorney, so then he has the legal know-how and that jargon, the language to speak, and you know he can understand right. what it is that the council was attempting to do for the city. So I think because of his position, unlike me or any of the other citizens of this city who might be interested in being a part of the council, they don't have that uh, in their resume. I see, I see, I see. And so since you've been on this journey, um, it, it, it has to be somewhat depressing, uh, but then again, somewhat hopeful. Uh, I know last night we were out at, us, us, um, I call her mother, Cynthia, the Nation of Islam was out there, I was out there, you were out there, Guy Mother was there. Do you see a sense of, of the community coming together a little bit, or what is your take on that? I see the community not yet being involved mm -hmm. to the capacity in which they could. Mm -hmm. Last night was a great night. As dark as it was outside, I saw a bright shining light. Wow. And I'm looking for that bright shining light to start to break off and the little crystals spread everywhere. Right. So that it can touch the people of the city to let them know the Calvary is here. Right. And until they, perhaps on Thursday of this week, when we have the town hall meeting, um, it will give people a sense of um, 
not having to worry or to say, well, 